on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, first, some background. You say once the court started to awaken amongst the masses, this is seemed like one of the most perfect times for the monsters to actually come out of hiding and let me know like, oh yeah, we're real. The only one of the real issues with them uh, finally revealing that they are in fact not works of fiction is everyone is scared shitless. But first, they think, oh, wait, no, these can be quirks. But then, seeing how similar the quirks are, seeing the different variations of these things they want to classify as quirks, being like, wait, that's. Wait, this, this is. Something's not right here. Upon realizing that these monsters are indeed actual monsters, they are not met with favor. To, to the point where, yeah, when it came to them getting their rights and whatnot, there were people telling them to pretty much go back to where they came from, and you, you get where I'm going with this. But then, once getting their whole, yes, we are people too, thing, <laughs> It's one thing for someone to have a quirk of super strength being in construction, but ogres? Not only do they already have super strength in which they can train in order to get more as they grow older, there are a lot of them. So the more monsters with specific skills, helpful skills, mind you, in the workforce, people are some people aren't happy. Others, some may get demoted, get get uh, brushed aside for a promotion. Others could just leave and uh, threaten not to come back. The boss is like, okay, I find I know someone perfect, even more perfect. To replace you type thing. So yes, people lose their jobs. They lose their homes. People are not... Some people are really pissed. So... This is when the exchange things starts to show up. But... Yeah, people... Not everyone likes it. And by this time, Izuku has been born and... Everything as per can would have happened by now. The only thing is, when Bakugo is bullying someone, one, he's bullying an ogre. A, a particularly tall one who does not like be ta taunted about her height. You know who this is. <laughs> so, Izuku being the way he is, he rushes in. Ball goes. Uh, okay, first of all, you quirkless. What are you doing trying to challenge me, boy? Second, she's a monster. Why are you defending her? Izuku being the way he is. <laughs> what the hell does that matter? Seriously, I don't care what you say, I still want to be a hero. It doesn't matter if she's a monster, she's still a person, she has feelings, and you mess messing with her, talking about her height, that's not very hero-like now, is it? <laughs> this is about time with Bakugo, so bitch, you dare... But luckily for Izuku, Tortu does actually 
Portillo, however you say her name, does end up helping, and she's a lot stronger than uh, Bakugo and his goons. She does think he's a goon. Of course she does. Him pretty much saying that while wow, she's very tall, her being very defensive, like, are you going to make fun of me too? Like, no. That's a, amazing, and you're very strong. Huh? Yeah, it's amazing. Oh. Well, um, you're very nice. But it, it's kind of weird. He, he said you didn't have a quirk. Uh, I don't. But you still defended me? Why? Or same thing I said before. But really? Of course. As yeah, she hugs Izuku, telling how nice he is compared to the others. Boy, thing is, she is crushing him slowly. Him begging to be let go so he can at least get a breath of air. Sweet Inko shows up, sees this, and she's worried. She is tells her, please let him go. Her like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how to control my strength yet. It's, if anything, your son is very nice. Okay. Thank you. Um, uh, my name is Inko Madoya. Oh, nice to meet you. And this is my son. Oh, nice to meet you too. Oh, wait, what's his name again? Uh, Izuku. <coughs> oh, nice to meet you too. Her just walking off. Uh, are you, are you okay, Isuku? Yeah, Mama, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, she's just a lot stronger than I thought she would be. Yes, nice. And pretty much based on her strength alone and how she handles herself with Bakugo and his goonies, this actually inspires Izuku to just, like, huh, I might not be able to become as strong as her, but, at the very least, that gave me the confidence I needed to actually, huh, you know what, Mom, I'm still going to be a hero. Huh? Yeah, I'll just have to train a lot. Get... Stronger, faster. I may not be anywhere near All Might or that girl's level, but still. You're serious? Inko pretty much trying to keep herself from fainting over having a heart attack. Is like, oh, I really, now I really wish you had a quirk or something. <laughs> just, just to put my mind at ease. But. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much how Izuku is, up to the point of canon, and oh my god, it's, it is a, quite the change. He's built up a, a fine layer of muscle, enough to the point where, yeah, Bakugo, yeah, he has to back off. Because not only is Izuku training, he's faster, stronger, as well as he, him still having journals and notebooks, writing down quirks, their weaknesses, their advantages, and blah, blah, blah. It's safe to say, yeah, this guy knows my quirk possibly better than I do. He possibly knows more of what I could do with it. He possibly knows all of my little, uh, hiccups so messing with this guy is probably not the best idea as yeah 
This is the start of middle school. But then they get a new student. Huh. It's a girl. As they see a zombie. Izuku, upon seeing all the stitches, all and everything, he's like, "Are you all right? Huh? Are you all right? You you seem like what? You're stitched up, and I as she just like stitches." Playing dumb, but then she starts unbuttoning her shirt, and he goes, like, uh, "What are you doing?" Huh? Oh, you said something about stitches, so I decided. To... Her looking around and seeing that. Oh, Izuku, plus the girls are the only ones. Without bloody noses, well, Bakugo doesn't have one because he doesn't really give a damn. So. Her just thinking, wow, I got a lot of them this time. What? Oh, I did that on purpose. I was hoping someone was going to bring it up. Thank you. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Izuku. Well, thank you, Izuku. You made my introduction far more entertaining. And yeah, she sits right next to him. All the guys are a mix between jealous and, like, what the hell, zombies? We have zombies now? Because with all, everything else, the Limeyas, the Centaurs, and so on and so forth, zombies? Are you kidding me? So they're pretty much talking. Izuku and Zambino, however you say it. And she's pretty much saying how life is as a zombie. Izuku was curious. She does have to deal with freaking Morris being literally dead. But yes, uh, wait, so is the zombie bite infection real? Yes. <gasps> Don't be such a pussy. Wait, what? Yes, I could turn people into zombies, but only when they're near death or so. Huh? Oh, yes, if you're real healthy and whatnot and very far from death, your immune system will kick in and pretty much remove uh, any virus. <laughs> wow, that's fascinating. You are kind of a nerd, aren't you? Well, I, uh, I wouldn't really call myself a, a nerd. Her just snatching one of his notebooks and reading through it is like, What the hell? What? I. I um, are you really keeping notes on. Heroes and the villains they faced, and the quirks, and the, I, uh, yes, impressive, Impre yes, very impressive. What, wait, what? You don't think it's weird? Oh, no, it's weird, it's very weird. If anything, it's ugh, very surprising, no doubt. As, yeah, they become pretty good friends. Bago kind of thinking, what the hell? I know I'm not his friend anymore, but is he just going to be, are monsters really the only ones who he wants to be friends with now? First that giant, giant ass, now a zombie? Uh, honest to God, dead person? Is, yeah, Bongo, he feels some type of way. He feels jealous. Not of Izuku being with these women, but pretty much Izuku actually getting friends that actually want to be around him. 
So yeah, Bogo burnt the bridge he, he and Izuku had before. That's gone. He knows this. But it's the fact that it's easy. It's easier for him to make friends. He's not an asshole like Bago is. He's not overconfident. Though he doesn't bully Izuku anymore, it's the fact that th this guy he was beneath me. I could beat him if I truly tried. But he he knows me so well. But I don't I don't know how he fights. Having a flashback of the last altercation they really had, Izuku was dodging Bako's explosions like they were barely even there. Though he got a little singed, it was nothing he couldn't fight through. So yeah, Bako. He's all in his feelings, and rightfully so. But, <sighs> I have to do this. One day, Izuku was walking home with Zambiana. Zambiano, however you say it, damn it. You know who I'm talking of. This is when Bago pretty much Jumps them. What I mean by this, yeah, he has his goons. This time he has three more, so five in total. Pretty much wanted to scare them, at least the little dead woman. It doesn't work, and Izuku was putting up quite the fight. To the point where Bogo gets pissed beyond belief and in fact orders his goons to restrain Izuku while he pretty much gives him a little reminder of why he is not to be fucked with. But before he can literally blow a hole through Izuku. No, oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll just go with it. This is when Zambiana just jumps in the way. He wasn't planning on killing Izuku. But when he hits Zambiana, it goes straight through her. To the point where there is not only blood, there's something missing. There is a hole in her chest. Izuku... Losing his mind, the, the goons let him go and run off. She collapses, and Bakugo is like, oh my god, what have I done? But this is when Izuku is pretty much, you killed her. You killed my friend. I, I didn't, I... Why? I didn't mean to. That was for you. So you were trying to kill me. Some hero you are. I, wait, I... Uh, this... It literally forces Izuku to release all the pent-up anger he ever had for Bakugo. And wails on him to the point where... Yeah... Bako's face ain't looking the same. It's not until he hears something on his voice that he stops and sees uh, How? Bako, with his eye partially swollen shut, I thought you were dead. Yeah, I am dead. I'm a zombie. Duh. I'm already dead. I'm invulnerable. I don't feel... I, I didn't feel any of this pain. What? Yeah, I didn't feel a thing. You serious? Oh, but were you worried about me? 
You did that for me? Just pointing at Bakugo? <laughs> well, I... Uh, I... It's just that I... Oh, you're so sweet. Her just pinching his cheek and just walking off. Him slowly following. Bago was like, Thank God she's a zombie. <laughs>